Hey my friends, welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Jupyter Notebook in Mac. There are actually multiple ways to install Jupyter Notebook in Mac, such as using Anaconda. But in this video, especially, we are going to focus on installing Jupyter Notebook without Anaconda. And it's the simplest and the easiest way possible. Now, if you are looking to install Jupyter Notebook using Anaconda, then you can find that video in the I button of this video. And if it doesn't exist there by any chance, then you will for sure find it on my channel. Before you install Jupyter Notebook, your Mac must have Python installed in it. And how to check if Python is installed? You press command space to open the spotlight search, then type terminal over here and open the terminal. Once it is open, you type this command Python 3 hyphen capital V. You hit enter and it should display the version of the Python installed on your Mac. If by any chance you don't have Python installed, then let me show you how to install Python in your Mac. To install Python, first open any browser on your Mac. I will open Google Chrome. And in the search bar of the Google Chrome, just type Python and hit enter. And then click on this website, which is www.python.org. Once this website opens, you hover on this downloads menu item and over here you will find the latest Python available for download. At the time of recording this video, it is Python 3.12.1. So you click on this and since I have accessed this website from Mac, hence it automatically shows the Python for Mac OS. All right, my download is complete. Let me access my download. So I go to my downloads folder and here is this .pkg file. Now I am going to double click on this file and follow the instructions. All right, I'm going to click on continue, continue again and continue again. All right, it's asking me to agree. So I have clicked on the agree button. And now it's saying that it's going to consume 176.4 MB of space on my computer. I am totally okay with that. So now I'm going to click on the install button. Okay, it's asking me for my admin username and password. Let me enter that. I click on install software and there you go. The installation has begun. It's good to see this message that install time remaining is less than a minute. All right, there you go. The Python is successfully installed. So let's go back to the terminal and check what's the version it shows now. It should be 3.12.1. All right, so let me go back to the terminal. Actually, I'll have to open a new terminal window to see the latest version. So let me do that. Okay. Now let me retype the command Python 3 space hyphen capital V. And there you go. Now the version is 3.12.1. So the latest Python is installed. Following these steps, you can install Python in your Mac too if you don't have it installed already. Now let's install Jupyter Notebook. But before that, I am going to create a virtual environment. Why virtual environment? Because I work on multiple projects in this Mac and for each project, I have separate virtual environment because I want to keep libraries specific to a project separate from libraries specific to other projects. That's why virtual environment is necessary and it's a good practice to first create a virtual environment and then install libraries or computing platforms like Jupyter Notebook within it. Before that, let me close this terminal window and keep the latest terminal window only to avoid confusion. Over here, I'm going to get inside my desktop and let me create a new folder by the name VNV. So it will be MKDIR VNV and I'm creating this folder in the desktop. All right, you can see the folder appearing over here. 
I'm going to get inside this folder and now I'm going to create a virtual environment within it. So the command to create a virtual environment is Python 3 hyphen M V N V dot Y dot because I am within the folder in which I want to create the virtual environment. You can specify an absolute path over here and it's going to create the virtual environment within the folder specified in the path. So let me hit enter. It's going to take some time. And there you go. It hasn't thrown any error. So I think virtual environment has been created. Let me type the command ls hyphen ltr. And there you go. The virtual environment has been successfully created. Now we are going to activate it. So how to activate it? The command is again very simple. It is source space bin forward slash activate. And there you go. You see VNV within brackets over here in front of the prompt. This means that the virtual environment is active. This means that VNV is the virtual environment which is active. All right. Now the time has come when we are going to install the Jupyter Notebook. So the command is very easy. So it will be. Wait a second. Before we begin installing Jupyter Notebook, let's check if Jupyter Notebook already exists in this newly created virtual environment. So to do that, we are going to write this command Python 3 hyphen M pip freeze. All right, nothing exists in this virtual environment as of now. Now let's install the Jupyter Notebook. So the command is very easy. It's pip install Jupyter. I hit enter. And the installation has begun. Quite a lot of downloading it is doing. Okay, you can see all sorts of packages it has downloaded. And there you go. The installation is complete. Jupyter Notebook is now installed. Now let's check whether Jupyter Notebook appears within the virtual environment. So the command will be python3 hyphen m pip freeze. And I see lots of Jupyter lab related packages installed over here, which totally says that Jupyter Notebook is successfully installed. Now let's actually start it. Okay, so let me clear this up a bit. And let me write Jupyter Notebook here. This is the command to start the Jupyter Notebook. I hit enter. And it has started. All right. There is a good chance that it's going to automatically start in a new tab in your browser like it has done for me. If it doesn't, then you go back to the terminal and you will find the URLs over here, which you can copy and paste in a tab and it's going to start the Jupyter Notebook for you. As you can see, this is the directory structure of the VNV environment. Now you would want to code something. So to do that, you will have to start a new notebook. So for that, you click on here on new and over here, you can see the notebook option. You click on it and a new notebook has opened for you. Select the kernel. It has to be Python 3. Oh, just select it. Just click on the select button and your notebook has started. Now you can actually code it. So let me write the first line of code for you. It will be printing hello world. So I have written the code and now I'm going to click on this run button and there you go. Hello world is printed. You can rename this notebook by just simply clicking here and uh, you can rename it to whatever you want. Let me rename it to first Jupyter program. 
all right it's renamed and you can see the notebook appears over here within the vnv directory as first to jupyter program dot ipynb file okay the green icon that you see over here means that it's currently in operation even if you close this tab that doesn't mean that the notebook has closed you will have to explicitly close it by shutting the kernel down like this okay now it's closed now if you reopen it like this it's going to reopen but my line of code is gone because i didn't save it so let me teach you how to save it i will write print hello world again let me execute it okay it has been successfully executed now i'm going to click on file and i am going to save the notebook now if i close it i go back here if i shut down the kernel and i reopen it the line of code is going to appear now because i saved the notebook before all right this is how you install jupyter notebook in your mac by creating a virtual environment in the easiest way possible i hope you enjoyed learning to install jupyter notebook in your mac from this video of joystick i'll see you in the next video of joystick till then goodbye and take very good care of yourself